Hey guys, so if you don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube and you want to learn how, this is the video for you. So let's get right to it. So the first step in solving a Rubik's Cube is the white cross. So you have to get the white cross with all the edges matched up with the centers. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So the first step in solving the white cross is looking for a white edge in the bottom layer. So right here. You're solving the white side, the bottom layer. So here is a white edge right here. You don't want a corner like this one. It, corners have three colors. Edges have two colors. You want one with two colors, so this one. So you want to take the color that is not white, so blue, and match it up with its center. So blue center is right here. So match this with this, just like that. And then you want to match white with the white center, all you have to do to do that is just turn it up like this. And you've got your first edge done. You just want to do that for the other three edges as well. Sometimes you might find an edge that's flipped wrong. So if I match this with the orange center like this and then move it up, then the edge will be flipped wrong. When that happens, you just have to move it to the side, then turn the top layer counterclockwise, then take this edge, move it up, and then back. Sometimes you won't find any white edges in the bottom layer, like none of these edges are white. So then you just want to find where the white edge is, and then put it on the bottom layer. Move it over to the side so you can fix this edge, and then solve this normally. So it's already matched up with red, then match white with white, and you've got your white cross solved. So once you finish the white edges, the next step is the white corners. So first you just want to go ahead and turn the cube upside down. And first I want to teach you a really important sequence of four moves. So to do this you just want to hold the cube like this and turn the right side up and push, down, push, up, push, down, push. You also want to learn this on the left side. So hold it just like this, up, push, down, push, up, push, down, push. So now we can go ahead and learn the white corners. So first you want to find a white corner on the top layer. So like this one, white, blue, and red. So, you, so uh, where does this belong? Between the white, blue, and red center pieces. So right here. So we want to bring this corner right above its slot, so over here. Put it right here. And then do the sequence of moves on the right side because the piece is on the right side. It's not solved yet. So keep doing it until it's solved. You might have to repeat it a few times. So now it's solved. And then you want to find another corner on the top layer. White, green, red. So you want to go white center, red center, green center. So this piece belongs right here. So I'm gonna bring it above the slot right there. And uh, this time it's on the left. So you wanna do it from the left side. Remember you might have to do it a few times until it's solved. So now it's solved. So there are your first two. You can do the other two the same way. Sometimes your last corner might be stuck on the bottom layer and you won't be able to solve it. So when that happens, all you have to do is do the same sequence and it'll come up to the top and then you can continue normally. So it's on the right side, so up, push, down, push. And you've got your entire top layer done. So once you've solved the top layer, just make sure everything is correct and then move on to the second layer. So this right here. So since the top is yellow, you want to find a edge that doesn't have yellow on it. So let's take this one right here. And then you want to move it to the front right here. The front color is red, so match red with the red center like this. And then the other color is green. And the green center is on the right side, so you want to move it to the left side. Move it away from its center, 
over here. And then use those four moves to take out this corner because it's the red green. So the red green corner. Use those four moves to take it out. So up, push, down, push. And then you want to reinsert this corner into the same place but from the left side. So put it on the left side and insert. Up, push, down, push. So then you've got the first edge on the second layer done. So you want to do that for the other three as well. So once you finish the first edge, you want to look for another non-yellow edge on the top layer. So like this one. So the front color is blue, so match blue with the blue center like this. And then where's the orange center? On the left side. So you want to move it to the right side, opposite, away from its center. And then you want to take this corner out using your left hand like this. Up, push, down, push. And then reinsert it from the right side. Up, push, down, push. There we go. So I showed you how to do it from the right side and from the left side. I'll show you another example so you get the hang of it. Like, this is a non-yellow edge. Match the red with the red, so over here. The blue is on the left side, so move it to the right side. Uh, take out this corner using the left hand because it's on the left side. And then reinsert it from the right side. There we go. Sometimes the last edge will be in the second layer, but it'll be flipped wrong. So when that happens, you just want to pretend like this piece is this piece and then insert it. So it's on the right side, so move it to the left side. Take this out using your right hand and then reinsert it from the left side. And then the piece came to the top. So then you want to insert this. Move the green to the green center. Orange is on the right side, so move it to the left. Take this corner out. Reinsert it from the left side. And there you go. Your second layer is completely finished. Once you finish the first two layers, you want to do the yellow cross. So ignore the corners right now, just the cross. So you can see that none of the edges are done. So when that happens, just turn the front clockwise. And then do the four moves that I taught earlier. So up, push, down, push. And then undo that front move. Then you'll get an L. So you need to put that on the, on the bottom right side. So just like this, and then do the same thing. Front clockwise, one, two, three, four, and then undo. Then you'll get a line. You wanna make sure you're holding it horizontally, not vertically, horizontally. Then do it again. Front clockwise, one, two, three, four, and then undo. Then you've got your yellow cross. So the next step is matching the cross colors. So you want the edges to match up with the centers. So go ahead and match as many as you can. I can match up green and red. The other two I cannot match. You'll either be able to match up all four. In that case, you're great. You can move on to the next step. Uh, if you can't match up all four, that means you can match up two. When that happens, you want to put one edge in the back and one in the right. And do this. Move the right side up and the top over. Move the right side down and the top over again. Move the right side up and then match this pair back here and then move it down. And then you'll be able to match up all of the edges. So the next step is to see if any of the yellow corners are in the right places. So like yellow, green, orange. Yellow, blue, orange. So this one's in the wrong place. So in my case, all of them are in the wrong place. So you'll either have all of them in the wrong place, only three in the wrong place, or zero in the wrong place. So when you have none of them in the right place, move the left side up and put this pair in the back. The right side up, match this and move it down. Then match this and move it down. Then match up the edges again. Uh, now check if you have any of the corners in the right place. This one's in the right place. So you want to put the right, correct one on the bottom right, like this. This corner could also be twisted like this or like this, but it's still in the right place. So 
So then you want to do the same thing. Left side up, move this to the back. Right side up, match, down, match, down. Then go ahead and match up the edges. So this one will stay in the same place. Now check if any of the other ones are in the right place. So none of them are in the right place other than this. So do it again. Now check again. Now all of them are in the right place. The next step is getting all of the yellow corners to get yellow on the top. So first, you want to turn the cube back with white on top and then look for an unsolved yellow corner. Like this one is already solved because the st corner stickers are matching with the center stickers. So find an unsolved corner like this one. Then you can put it on the right or the left side and do those four moves that I taught earlier until this corner is solved. So now this is solved now. Don't worry about these two. They're going to mess up, but they're going to solve again. Don't worry. So then move the bottom layer to another unsolved corner. So like this one is an unsolved corner. Move it to the same place. Don't turn the cube around or it'll mess up. Move it right here. Then do those four moves until it is solved. It's solved. So then take the last one and move it to the front. And then align the bottom layer and you'll have a completely solved Rubik's Cube. If this video helped you learn how to solve the Rubik's Cube, then be sure to like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.